what may be protected the subject matter of trademarks can fall into what has been already provided under the trademarks act first it should conform to the definition of trademark under the act and it should satisfy the three conditions provided in the definition one it should pertain to a sign or a mark two it should be capable of being represented graphically as we had already mentioned the mark should be capable of being shown on paper that it has to be two dimensional three it should have the capacity to distinguish goods and services so the fact that it should pertain to a sign or a mark it should be represented graphically and it should be able to distinguish the products and services from that of a competitor the concept of a sign is too broad but it is not without limits the act defines a mark as a device brand heading label ticket name signature word letter numeral shape of goods packaging or combination of colors or any combination thereof so mark has a quite a wide definition under the act the limits on registration of shapes are also mentioned in the act for instance you cannot have a mark which is a shape that results from the nature of goods themselves for instance it will be hard for somebody to sell mango juice in a package which is which looks like a which shape like a mango there was a case involving a lemon juice which was sold in a packaging that looked like a lemon this case was in the united kingdom the jif lemon case so you cannot have property rights on shapes where the shape signifies the shape of the nature of the goods themselves so you cannot sell mango juice in a mango shaped container two you cannot have registration of shapes that are necessary to obtain technical result sport shoes are shaped aerodynamically so that they can cut the drag coefficient and it's necessary for shoes to be shaped in a way in which they can drag, cut the drag so you cannot sh- have a registration of a shape as a mark which is essentially to which is common for footwear three shape gives substantial value to the goods when a shape gives a substantial value to the go- good then that shape cannot be a subject matter of a mark for instance all bottles are shaped in a way to contain fluids and which have a narrow opening so that the flow of the liquid is controlled while pouring so this shape which is common to all bottles cannot be the subject matter of a mark so these are limits to the registration of shapes the mark should be capable of being graphically represented and by graphical representation we refer to the representation of this of a sign word marks are represented in writing figurative marks are shown by pictures representation of unconventional marks can be problematic we had seen in the case of sound marks and in the case of taste marks and smell marks because of the nature in which they are perceived it becomes hard to graphically represent these marks so unconventional marks like sound marks smell marks and taste marks cannot be registered under the indian trademarks act trademarks need to be distinctive they should be capable of distinguishing the goods and services of one undertaking from the goods and services of another the distinctiveness can be of different types the distinctiveness can be arbitrary for instance google is an arbitrary word it is a word does, which does not have any meaning so the distinctiveness of the word google came by repeated usage over a period of time the distinctiveness can also be fanciful a uh, enterprise may choose a trademark of a word which is entirely unconnected with its business for instance 
the company Apple Inc. chose Apple as its trademark for selling software and hardware products relating to computers. So that's a fanciful term which has acquired distinctness over a period of time. Distinctiveness can also be suggestive. For instance, the trademark sugar free and there was a case in India pertaining to this mark means the product is free of sugar. But this trademark is used for sweetness and sweetness like sucralose, aspartame and stevia are all sold by this company which markets itself as sugar free. So sugar free is a suggestive mark but it has attained distinctiveness by usage for a long period of time. Marks over a period of time also get secondary meaning. Secondary meaning is acquired when the customers recognize a mark as a source of indicator. Primary significance of the term in the minds of the consuming public is not the product but the producer. For instance, there has been cases where it has been argued that the word metro which is a short form for metropolis or metropolitan has been used in various distinct industries like metro has been used for hotels, metro has been used for hospitals, metro has been used for selling footwear. So when an existing mark is used, the use, the people who use the mark, the owners of the mark would argue that the mark has acquired a secondary meaning over a period of time. The distinctive character can come from different means. The distinctive character can come from a suggestion, what we call, it can be suggestive. It can suggest the quality of a good or a service. For instance, Citibank, it suggests that it is city based, it is based in a city and it does the function of a bank. But together Citibank is a unique work which gives distinct, which has distinctiveness. The distinctiveness can also come out of a description, what we call descriptive. For instance, Coca-Cola describes the product, the product being cola. So the descriptive character of the product can be a part of the name provided it has a distinctive character. The distinctiveness can also become generic over a period of time. For instance, Xerox, though it's a trademark, is commonly used to understand photocopies. Thermos, though it's a trademark, is commonly used to understand flasks. What can't be a trademark? Something which is, which de denotes a function or which covers a functionality cannot be the subject matter of a trademark. Marks cannot be protected if they are functional. Uh, footwear has to be shaped like the human foot. You cannot have the shape of a footwear as a trademark because it's, its function is tied to its use. Marks that are disparaging cannot qualify as a trademark. Disparaging marks will not be granted protection. Marks that are detrimental to the distinctive character of an existing mark and against the reputation of a trademark will not be granted protection. It cannot be a subject matter of a trademark. Marks that are immoral and scandalous will not be offered protection under the trademark law. Marks that lead to deceptive similarity. Marks which misdescribes the goods attached to it will not be granted trademark Marks which conflict with existing marks, which is, which can cause confusion with existing marks or cause dilution of existing known marks will not be granted protection. And marks that make a fraudulent representation or a false representation will not be granted trademark. For instance, somebody comes up with a medicine and calls it cancer cure. And, and wants to get a mark for the word cancer cure. That will not be granted a protection as it amounts to false representation. 
The act also introduces the concept of well-known marks. A well-known mark means a mark which has become so to the substantial segment of the public which uses such goods or receives such services that the use of such mark in relation to other goods or services would be likely to be taken as indicating a connection in the course of trade or rendering of services between those goods or services and a person using the mark in relation to the first mentioned goods or services. We have seen that some conglomerates like Tata are regarded as well-known marks. So regardless of which field they are, a user may get an impression that this company Tata has now entered a segment or a course of business which they would relate to coming from the house of Tata's. So the test here is that it should be known to the substantial segment of the public which uses the goods or services that such services would likely be taken as indicating a connection in the course of trade.